हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय क्लास लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस द नेचर ऑफ लाइट एंड इट द नेचर ऑफ लाइट दैट इज वेव एंड व्हाट इज इंटरफरेंस पैटर्न एंड हाउ कैन वी गेट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट वेयर वी गेट मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट एंड मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट एंड देर इज टू इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफरेंस एंड डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफरेंस ऑफ लाइट पैटर्न क्लियर एंड द इंटरफरेंस पैटर्न द इंटरफरेंस लाइट और मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम लाइट व्हिच वी ऑब्जर्व ऑन ए स्क्रीन क्लियर सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट अनदर इंपोर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक व्हिच शो द वेव नेचर ऑफ लाइट दैट इज नोन एज यंग्स डबल स्लिट एक्सपेरिमेंट दिस इज इंपोर्टेंट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन फॉर योर काउंसिल एग्जामिनेशन Young's double slit experiment. Or short form you can write Y D S E. Young's double slit experiment. And according to this experiment, the nature of light is a wave. Clear and this uh, uh, explanation of Young's double slit experiment, which helped to the hygiene to prove that the light, the speed of light in denser medium greater as compared to denser medium. That means denser uh, the light while coming from rarer to denser medium speed decrease. Clear. So now we will start the wave nature of light and using Young's double slit experiment. There is a source. and this source is s and this source is known as monochromatic source so what is the meaning of monochromatic source we have to use here monochromatic monochromatic source means the source which consists of only one wavelength of light single wavelength of light we call that source is known as monochromatic source suppose this source if we consider here red light you can consider violet green indigo etc clear so these are monochromatic source here we use and there is a slit this slit and there is a screen where we will find the interference pattern on the screen so here there is a source s which uh, middle of the slit clear and this source is s which uh, radiate light in this direction and we already know these are the wave front of the light source and here suppose one ray you are traveling this direction and here suppose source this source is s1 and another source here s2 this source are equidistant from the original source or monochromatic source and the wavelength or frequency of the light which depends on the initial source so s1 and s2 which possess a single wavelength of light S2 suppose single wavelength light which is lambda and this screen which placed at a distance of capital D suppose the width this is width of the slit and if you want to write this suppose this distance S1 to S2 that is known as width of the slit small d clear This is width of the slit. So you can write here what is small d width of the slit. What is capital D distance between slit and screen. Clear? Okay. Now. There is two source. S1 is here and S2 is here. We already discuss wavefront or characteristic of wavefront 
and what is wavelength in last class so the we have to choose a point p on the screen where we have to find this point p give brightness or darkness due to the path difference and phase difference between two wave but we have to use here monochromatic light suppose we have to find this point p which is darkness or brightness so wave must travel from s1 and s2 uh, suppose this is the wave which traveling from s1 and another one wave which traveling this direction from s2 clear okay this is center o if this two distance uh, s1 to s2 distance is d then this distance is that is d by 2 and this distance also d by 2 we have to choose a point p here and this point p which is at a distance of y from the center of the slit or from center of or we can say uh, from point o clear okay now uh, this distance suppose this is s1 p and suppose this point is a similarly s2 p and this point we can take b and the distance between p to a this distance because this total distance y and this distance d by 2 so you can write this distance it is y minus d by 2 similarly this distance from b to p distance and this distance which is y plus d by 2 y plus d by 2 now this point will give brightness or darkness and that brightness and darkness depends on the phase difference or path difference of the two wave because there is one wave s1 and another source here s2 and there is a path difference why because s1 p which is large distance and s2 p sorry s1 p small distance as compared to s2 p which is large distance so first we have to find the phase difference or path difference we already know if phase difference or path difference delta x if path difference between two wave delta x which is equal to n lambda then we get constructive interference and what is n 0 1 2 3 4 dot 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 so on and similarly if path difference between this two wave uh, which is 2n plus 1 and here lambda by 2 then we get constructive interference clear so first we have to find what is path reference delta x delta x means it is the path reference between s1 p and s2 p because here s2 p is large distance s2 p light which traveling large distance and s1 p light which traveling small distance so first we have to find the path reference suppose we have to draw a perpendicular here this is perpendicular now if we ignore this distance this distance then we have to see here then s1 p traveling this distance and here s2 p also traveling this distance and these two distance are equal if we cut this part clear so this distance is known as path difference between two waves s1 p and s2 p clear so how can we find path difference here so here path difference which is equal to we can write here delta x and it is the separation or it is the separation between s to p minus s1 p then this distance we get this distance s to p minus s1 p this is equation number one you can take equation number one clear okay now look at here triangle this angle is here 90 degree and this angle also here 90 degree that is two triangle s1 a p in right angle triangle s1 a p s1 a p right angle triangle we can write s1 p which is equal to s1 p s1 p square 
according to Pythagoras theorem, S1 P square equal to S1 A, S1 A square plus A P whole square. So we can write here, it is S1 A square plus A P square, A P square. Or we can write S1 P square, which is equal to S1 A. S1 A means the distance between slit and screen here D. So here we can write capital D square plus A P. This distance A to P and this distance is known as that is Y minus D. So here Y minus D by 2 whole square. Clear? Again another triangle. So in right angle triangle S2, S2 B P. Here we can write by using Pythagoras theorem S2P square which is equal to S2B S2B square plus BP square here BP square now use this value so S2P square equal to S2B S2B means distance this is capital distance D square plus Y plus D by 2 whole square because B P and B to P distance that is Y plus D by 2. Okay. This is we can take this is equation number 2 and here this is equation number 3. Now uh, subtract subtract equation number 2 uh, minus equation number 3. Clear? So here equation number 2 that is S1P square or actually we have a relation that is S2P minus S1P. So you can write here equation number 3 subtract then here equation number 2. So this is equation number 3. Why I am writing uh, like this? You will get after 1 minute or few minutes that is S1P and here you can write minus S1P square which equal here d square plus y plus d by 2 whole square minus here d square and again minus y plus sorry y minus d by 2 whole square clear and here it is a square minus b square the mathematical identity or algebra identity you can use here a plus b into a minus b that is a plus b into a minus b a plus b into s2p minus s1p a plus b into a minus b and here d square d square cancel the remaining part you can write y plus d by 2 whole square minus y minus d by 2 whole square clear or if you solve this relation we can write here S2P here S2P plus S1P here S2P minus S1P what is S2P S1P S2P minus S1P is here path difference between two wave so you can write that is delta X which equal to A plus B whole square S square plus B square D square by 4 S square plus B square plus 2 A and b that is d by 2 minus here that is s square plus b square d square by 4 minus 2 a b d by 2 and if you solve this relation then we get s square plus d by 4 plus uh, 2 2 y d by 2 minus y square here minus uh, d square by 4 plus here 2 y d by 2 and here d square by 4 d square by 4 y square y square cancel the remaining term 2 y dy 2 y dy that is 4 y uh, d by 2 and 2 2 is 4 here so you can write 2 y d and 2 y d here you can write that is s 2 p plus s 1 p into delta x we get a general expression here this is equation number 4 but this is approximation condition what is approximation condition so this approximation condition is that 
here the width of slit the width of slit is very small as compared to the distance of slit and the screen clear here d distance is very small as compared to capital d if you take here angle suppose this is middle point and this point is p then this is a line this center or this point you can take another one point suppose this angle is here theta clear for d and this this is large distance then this angle theta is very small if we compare this distance d this is very small clear this is uh, the distance is like milli millimeter one millimeter similarly but we have to take this distance which is 2 meter 3 meter 5 meter etc clear so here if you compare the large distance d and small distance d here small distance is very small width of uh, the slit is very small as compared to the separation between screen and slit slit so this angle theta which is very small and if angle theta is very small then s2p and s1p like parallel to each other and here we can write suppose this distance is d and this is s1 and this point s2 and this these two rays are or these two waves are parallel to each other for small angle theta at that time the p if this angle very small then the point p which is very nearer to this point o this point p which is very nearer to this point o clear at that time we can say that this distance s1 p and s2 p which is nearer to d because this point p which is nearer to o point clear so you can write here since d is very very small than d so practically the point point p very close to point o clear and here theta is very small for approximation method so you can use here s1 p s1 p nearly equal to s2 p and which is equal to capital d clear s1 p and s2 p which is equal to capital d this is approximation method clear or practical method we use here so s2 p plus s1 p you can write d d is here so you can write this equation from equation i v s2 p s2 p is here d d plus d into delta x here which equal to 2 y d and here d d to d so you can write 2 d and delta x which is equal to 2 y d and 2 2 cancel here but we need delta x this is path reference and y d equal d delta x equal to d y by capital d or we can write here that is delta x which is equal to d y d y by capital d so this is delta x clear now we have to show if this delta x which is equal to n uh, delta x which is equal to n lambda then we get constructive interference and the meaning of constructive interference which is known as give more bright light and more intensity at that point similarly if delta x is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 it give the destructive interference means minimum or minima minimum intensity of light at that point and destructive interference so we get the fringe pattern we get the interference pattern on the screen and we have to find here this is delta x delta x we get here which is equal to d y by d and this delta x meaning that this is the path difference between s1 p and s2 p now we have to show that how or uh, what is the path difference between them we get constructive interference and 
what is the path difference between these two where we get destructive interference now let's start maximum intensity of light or this point is known as maximum brightness bright fringe what is fringe we will discuss later here so you have to here find that is maximum intensity of light or maxima or you can say constructive interference that is constructive interference of light here so we have relation that is a delta x which is equal to y d by capital d this is general expression but here we have to find constructive interference for constructive interference of light or for constructive uh, maxima or maximum intensity of light for maximum intensity of light we already have that relation delta x the path difference between two waves should be here that is n lambda and if path difference between two wave n lambda we get constructive interference here delta x here also delta x so if we compare this relation we can write n lambda which is equal to y d by capital d and here we have to find y so here small y which is equal and small y which is equal to we can write that is n lambda n lambda capital d by here small d what does it mean the y is the distance from o to p if this distance we get this is delta x we use your n lambda this is constructive interference now we have to find how much distance from o to p then that point will give the brightness or darkness because we already discussed here this give brightness so we have to find first maximum or first order maxima second order maxima and third order and so on clear if we move on the screen so this is y equal to n lambda d by d and what is n n is here that is 0 1 2 3 and so on so you can write here uh, suppose uh, for n equal to 0 if we place uh, 0 in terms of n here then we get y0 which is equal to this is n equal to 0 means here distance is 0 and here y0 means this point p is now lies at point o and at that time here the source this light and this distance and here the phase difference or path difference here the path difference is 0 here path difference n lambda if we plus n is here 0 then delta x also 0 that means this s1 light and s2 light coming at point o there is no path difference clear at that time we get constructive interference here and which is constructive interference and we get here maximum intensity of light maximum light or we can say we get here it is a bright light bright light and that point is known as central maxima central maxima clear this point is known as central maxima again where n equal to 1 so y1 equal to 1 into lambda here lambda d by here small d and this is known as first order maxima first order maxima at a distance of y1 equal to lambda d by d from this point o clear so we get here uh, suppose this point is first maxima or we get here maximum intensity of light this is maximum intensity of light again we get here and this distance is that is known as y1 and we get again here the maximum intensity of light so this is known as first order maxima similarly if you choose n equal to 2 then we get y2 equal to uh, 2 lambda d by d and this is known as 
सेकेंड सेकेंड और मैक्सिमा आफ्टर सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा सिमिलरली एन इक्वल टू थ्री इट इज वाई थ्री इक्वल टू थ्री लामडा डी बाय डी एंड दिस इज नॉन एज थर्ड ऑर्डर मैक्सिमा और थर्ड ऑर्डर ब्राइटनेस सिमिलरली यू कैन सॉल्व दिस रिलेशन बाय यूजिंग दिस प्रोसेस वेयर एन इक्वल टू एन सो यू गेट वाई एन इट इज एन लामडा डी बाई डी एंड दिस इज नॉन एज एन थर्ड ऑर्डर मैक्सीमा एंथ ऑर्डर मैक्सिमा ऑन द स्क्रीन सो यू गेट दिस इज वाई वन डिस्टेंस अनदर वन फ्रेंज इज हियर एंड व्हिच इज एट ए डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस इज वाई टू एंड अगेन देर इज अनदर पॉइंट एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज वाई थ्री एंड सो ऑन इफ वी मूव दिस बिलो देन यू विल गेट ऑल्सो हियर द ब्राइटनेस दिस पॉइंट इज ब्राइटनेस वी कैन राइट हियर बी एंड दिस पॉइंट बी बी एंड बी एंड सिमिलरली बी इज हियर If we again move downward direction from the point O, this point is O is here. So we get here brightness in this way, and this brightness light, these are known as fringe. These are known as fringe, bright fringe, bright fringe, bright fringe, bright fringe, and this distance is known as fringe. Clear? So we will uh, let let us discuss. What is the fringe with distance? So here we get n uh, y n equal to lambda d by d, and this is known as nth order maxima. Clear? So these are the relation of constructive interference, and when delta is equal to n lambda, we get maximum intensity of light. So here we get maximum brightness, maximum brightness, maximum brightness, and maximum brightness. And this brightness are con not continuous. Here maximum brightness, then we get another quantity that is known as darkness. We will discuss here. Then brightness, then darkness. Brightness, darkness on the screen. This is known as the constructive interference. And if we find the distance between two fringes, the this is one fringe and this is one fringe. So here, the distance between two fringes, we can write here y2 minus y1. Any two fringes you can write here y2 minus y1. Y2 is here two lambda, two lambda d by d minus lambda d by d, which is equal to lambda d by d. This is constant quantity always. If you find the distance between y3 and y3 and y2, then also three lambda d by d. थ्री लामा डी वाई डी माइनस टू लामा डी वाई डी इज इक्वल टू लामा डी वाई डी एंड दिस फ्रिज एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दिस लामा डी वाई डी ऑल्सो नॉन एज फ्रिज यूथ विल डिस्कस लेटर नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस केस नंबर टू फॉर मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट और दिस टर्म इज नॉन दैट इज डेस्ट्रक्टिव destructive interference clear we get here darkness of light darkness of light and what is that condition if path difference between two wave is 2n or even sorry or multiple of lambda by 2 here path difference is even uh, here we can write 2n Or you can write here two n lambda by two. You can write so here if or you can write another term. You can write, want to write here delta x equal to two n lambda by two. Two to cancel then you get n lambda here. If path difference between two wave is even multiple of lambda by two, we get constructive interference. Or you can say here if path difference between two wave is odd multiple of lambda by two, we get destructive interference. And but uh, we have relation that is delta x equal to d y by capital D. Now compare this relation. We can write here that is d y by capital D which is equal to two n plus one lambda by two. But here we need delta y or y y equal to if I want to write that is two n plus one lambda d. By 2d. This is expression. Now we have to find the distance of y from center point where we get minimum intensity of light or first order minima, second order minima, and so on. Clear? So uh, if I want to write here, 
what is n n is your uh, natural number you can write n equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on clear okay now if you want to write here suppose n equal to 0 when if we place uh, in terms of n which is 0 then we get y 1 and that y1 is known as here y1 which is equal to n is 0 uh, means uh, 1 lambda d by 2d here lambda d by capital sorry 1 by 2 lambda d by d and look at this relation here lambda d by d and we get here half lambda d by d this is y1 and this y1 this is y1 and here lambda d this y1 is so that lambda d by d but we get half lambda d by d then this this case and here this distance from this point o so we get here this distance is y1 suppose and this is known as bright sorry dark you can write here d darkness so first we get central maxima and after that we get first order minima this is known as first order minima after central maxima after central maxima you can say after brightness after central brightness so we get first order minima where intensity of light is minimum and this point is known as darkness so first we get brightness then darkness again brightness again here we get a darkness clear and this distance you can write here suppose n equal to 1 then y2 equal to if you place 1 is here 2 1 is 2 plus 1 3 3 by 2 3 by 2 here lambda d by d and 3 by 2 is 1.5 and here that is 2 2 lambda d by d and here this is 1.5 so it lies in between here lambda d by d and this is 2 lambda d by d and here this distance this distance again we find here that is 3 by 2 lambda d by d and this point is known as this is dark point and again if we take n equal to 2 then we get y3 sorry this is known as second order second order minima after central maxima and here y3 equal to that is 5 uh, by 2 lambda d by d and this is known as third order third order minima or minimum intensity of light we get here this point is third order minima or darkness so if we move on the screen this direction or this straight line then you get first maximum intensity of light then zero there is no light and this point is darkness and again we get maximum intensity of light brightness and darkness brightness darkness brightness darkness A again this brightness and here you get uh, sorry darkness and brightness is here then here darkness and this is brightness and here darkness and brightness these are the fringes these are the fringes of light and here this is redistribution of light by using Young's double slit experiment and here the source also describes the fringe which was described in case of wave and wave light which describes the distribution of light so light is the nature of light which is behave as the nature of wave we clear from this relation or we clear from this concept here clear so these are all about constructive interference and destructive interference or minimum intensity of light or this is uh, minimum intensity of light and maximum intensity of light if you want to find the distance between two waves suppose here y3 and y2 if you want to find here i am writing here so y3 minus y2 separation between two fringe separation between two uh, dark fringe here so we get here that is y3 minus y2 and we can write here lambda d by capital D y3 is here 5 by 3 that is 5 sorry 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 3 by 2 then we get here lambda d by d which is the separation between distance between two fringe or two maxima is lambda d by d again the distance between two minima also lambda d by d 
and this lambda d by d which is constant for constructive interference and destructive interference and that lambda d by d is known as fringe width and now we will discuss what is fringe width now we start fringe width and it is denoted by beta fringe width which is beta so what is fringe width it is the distance between you can write here it is the distance between two consecutive brightness two consecutive bright fringe or dark fringe to consecutive brightness or darkness it is the distance between two consecutive brightness or that two consecutive this is central central maxima clear and here this is first order maxima and here this is second order maxima clear and this distance from first order maxima and the second order maxima here this distance is uh, suppose this distance to this distance we can find here this is central and this is uh, first and we already have that is y1 which is equal to 1 lambda d by d and this is known as first order maxima first order maxima and similarly y2 equal to 2 lambda d by d this is known as second order maxima and the separation between here and beta can be right that is y2 minus y1 because this distance is y1 and this distance is here this distance is y2 clear and this distance this distance to this distance is known as we can write here a beta beta means separation between two consecutive bright light y2 and this distance is y1 y2 this distance y2 minus y1 this distance is known as fringe width here y2 minus y1 we can write here that is uh, lambda d so we get here lambda d by d similarly for destructive interference or minima also we can write here first order minima this is first order minima and this is also uh, sorry, uh, second order minima this is here sorry uh, this is central point so here we get first order minima and here this is second order minima clear order minima so uh, this distance this distance is y1 and here this distance is y2 so this distance this distance is known as this distance from brightness to bright sorry darkness to darkness and here this distance is brightness to brightness this distance clear this distance is known as fringe width and this distance is also known as fringe width for darkness we can find the same beta it is lambda d by d why because here y1 equal to 1 by 2 lambda d by d and where y2 equal to you can write uh, 3 by 2 lambda d by d and here also beta it is lambda d by or you can write y2 y2 minus y1 lambda d by d so we get same right so we get same print clear okay so there is a different color of light which is visible to us V I B G uh, G Y O R vector which is uh, angstrom say 7600 angstrom to 3600 angstrom if you move this direction then wavelength decrease here clear so red have maximum wavelength and here this beta bright fringe here bright fringe directly proportional to wavelength of light lambda clear so whose wavelength is maximum is here here red color light is wavelength maximum here the because it's angstrom nearly equal to 7600 angstrom but in case of violet light it is 3 uh, 3600 angstrom so you can write here fringe width fringe width of red 
which is directly proportional to this is also red wavelength let similarly beta violet for violet right that proportional to here uh, that is violet but here lambda are greater than lambda v violet so here fringe width also so we get more fringe width or we get more fringe in case of red light if we use the source or monochromatic source for red light then we get maximum number of brightness darkness is on the screen if we use violet light then we get less number of brightness darkness that means fringe less number of fringe on the screen these are details are about the concept that is fringe width clear okay if this total setup is now placed in air system if this total system now consider inside liquid system of suppose another one system suppose denser medium denser medium whose the refractive index mu then what will be the fringe width so this is air medium and fringe width which is equal to lambda d by d if we place this system inside another one medium denser medium suppose liquid uh, refractive index mu then uh, what is uh, what will be the fringe width beta you can write here that is mu to 1 we already know mu to by mu 1 which is equal to v1 by v2 and velocity which is equal to distance by time and distance is your wavelength time is 1 by frequency so v is lambda f but when a light traveling from one medium to another medium it in you know, the frequency independent of the medium because this is the property of a source of light so you can write v1 equal to your lambda f divided by your lambda f and f f cancel we get lambda 1 by lambda 2 clear lambda 1 is here our air medium and this is here denser medium this medium so you can write mu 2 by mu 1 but mu 2 mu 2 means this is denser medium here and mu 1 is our that is rarer medium means this medium air medium so you can write simple this is rarer medium refractive index 1 and denser medium is mu is here so you can write here mu which is equal to lambda this is for air medium and lambda this is for here that is uh, denser medium denser medium clear or we can write simply because we already use lambda for air medium and denser medium we can write lambda dash clear and this is refractive index now we have to find fringe width but the formula fringe width that is beta dash for denser medium which is equal to the formula lambda d means we can write here lambda ds d because this capital d is remain constant and slit width also constant now we can place here d lambda and here sorry lambda ds which is equal to lambda by mu here so we can write this relation here lambda ds can be write lambda by mu into d by d and this uh, lambda d by d which is equal to beta this term is beta so you can write here beta d is equal to beta by mu clear so fringe width inside any denser medium other than air medium and fringe width decrease how much it depends on the refractive index of the medium clear this is the another one concept and again there is a term that is known as angular fringe width angular fringe width and it is represented by theta this theta is here this theta is known as angular fringe width because the air is bright fringe bright 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 fringe and there are dark 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 fringes so the angular fringe width is defined as theta which is the ratio of because uh, for bright fringe and dark fringe fringe width is constant so it can be described it is the ratio of fringe width beta divided by the separation of the screen is here d clear the separation of screen is here b a uh, d so you can write here d because his theta theta is uh, we can write the tan theta tan theta equal to perpendicular upon base same way you can choose because this is perpendicular means fringe width so one fringe width divided by screen distance or distance of screen to slit distance is known as angular fringe width d uh, sorry theta so you can write here beta equal to lambda d by 
डी इन टू वन बाई डी 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 कैंसल सो एंगुलर फ्रेंज विथ कैन बी राइट इट इज लामबड़ा बाय स्मॉल डी क्लियर सो दिस इज नोन एज एंगुलर एंगुलर फ्रेंज विथ दिस इज अवर फ्रेंज विथ मीन्स लिनियर फ्रेंज विथ एंड हियर वी गेट द फ्रेंज विथ डिक्रीज वाइल इफ यू टेक द सेटम इन साइड डेंसर मीडियम एनी डेंसर मीडियम क्लियर सो दिज आर द इम्पोर्टेंट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन फॉर योर काउंसिल एग्जामिशन एंड दैट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज नॉन एज यंग्स डबल स्लिट एक्सपेरिमेंट सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ऑल दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड स्टेप बाय स्टेप क्लियर थैंक यू ऑल